That was cold. Hello, my name is Chantel from Chantel is Probably Sorry. The time the reaction starts is in the description. Also in the description, a list of shows I watch, the other shows I watch, what else I do. So if you're new here, check that out. Subscribe if any of that stuff interests you. Also, if you're interested in owning any of my drawings that I have in my background, send me an email at Chantel is Probably Sorry at gmail.com. I guess I didn't say it already. This is one on Earth 304 called No Cure for Crazy. I actually have intro comments and they're kind of important-ish. I don't know, I wrote down Waves Earp. Well, I mean, I know that pretty soon we're gonna find out what she is, but that's actually what I'm, one of the things I'm gonna talk about. That's probably the thing I'm gonna talk about next, maybe. I don't know. But we see her devolving and becoming, I, I, I don't know, this, everything that's happening and everything, everything we saw from her in 303, she, she was kind of just losing grasp. <laughs> everything that was happening because she's on an herb and because she doesn't know what her her background is okay so the next <laughs> I don't know I maybe I had more to say about that when I wrote it down so I'm gonna talk about comments for a second right because this funny thing happened first things first by the time this comes out I'll have watched 305 so it is okay originally I was gonna be like don't confirm whether or not I'm right but because of the fact that I'm going to be watching 305 right now, uh, like right afterwards, right afterwards, then it's okay if people in, in the comments <laughs> want to talk about it. Because usually I really, really don't like spoilers. So literally, 18 hours ago, I have two comments. I kind of want to talk about the second one. I might drop. I'm not sure. I might not talk about that one. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. But first of all, Someone literally 18 hours ago commented on Winona Earp 209. That's the episode where Waverly kissed Rosita, right? Uh, and I mean Rosita kissed her back, but that's not the point. The comment said, great, now I gotta watch the show because I like you and your content. Thanks Chantel in caps. And I was like, aha, you welcome. Also, thank you. Because it got commented on, I do this weird thing, just generally speaking. If I send someone a link, I'll go rewatch that link because I want to see it from the, I don't know, I kind of reimagine myself in the perspective of someone who's never seen it before. Like, oh, I wonder how this person will interpret it, so I watch it again. So I'm like, oh, here's this new fool. Uh, what was this video even like? So I click on it and I watch it. And you know what? I think that, that was the first video, maybe the second video, where I brought up the prospect of of Waverly potentially being half Revenant. Cause I think it was 20, I can find it. I can figure out which episode it is. One of the episodes where they were dropping lots of clues. <laughs> Doc is by. <laughs> I wrote that down. I, I think there's supposed to be another LGBTQ plus character that's popping up maybe in this episode. If it's Doc, I'm gonna live. If it's Kate, I'll live too. Anyway though. In 207, they kept dropping clues, or just, they kept dropping visual clues that Waverly was half Revenant, which is what I picked up on. And then after I picked up on it, I realized that other people in the fandom picked up on it too. And I was like, shit. And so I didn't bring it up until 208, and then in 209, I talked about it some more, right? And in 209 was when Waverly was like, I think I'm half Revenant. And that's when we found out Rosita was a Revenant. It's funny how I can remember all these details about season two, but I remember nothing about season one. I watched, I'm not gonna, I know I don't remember anything about season one. I need to go rewatch it, is what the problem is. I also consider the possibility that they might've been making her look like she was half pregnant to fool the audience, which is what they did. While I was rewatching this video, 209, I realized that they, I have this really, really, crappy feeling that I'm right because if I am right then that means that it, I potentially won't be as surprised by the reveal. Shit. Damn it, I hope I'm not right, but I think I am. There were equally as many clues in that episode or just so many references to her being an angel. And then while I was watching, because I noticed that, that, that was the first thing I noticed. I was like, they are definitely referencing her as an angel a lot like with Bobo and 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 Waver, uh, with Bobo and Winona and all that and then 
in my recommended videos I saw something that said Waverly is an angel or something with a question mark and I don't know maybe it's just a fan theory maybe I'm wrong <laughs> that would be great but I, I, damn, I don't think I am <laughs> how often do you see someone excited about being wrong I hope I'm wrong who knows maybe I am right and the reveal will amaze me anyway which I'm assuming is going to be in 305. But me watching 209 though, my video for 209 at this point last year, it made me like cringe so hard. I just, gosh, I hate. I do not like looking at old content that I've created or listening to old content that I've created if it is not up to my standard currently like if i go back and read something and it still meets my current standards for what is acceptable then i'm like okay yeah that's cool but the second that i come across something that doesn't meet where i've progressed to i'm like oh shit, no get it out of my face this is so ugly gross i don't like it i don't want to see it ever again so the second comment this might end up getting edited out In my last video, I brought up intention versus result because I saw way too many arguments that were so focused on the intention that they were completely not listening to what the other side of the argument was, like shutting it down completely. And I'm like, okay, well, we have to talk about intent versus result because I just saw way too many arguments that completely invalidated the other side solely based on intentions. And I was like, uh-uh, no, we have to talk about it now. And I had a comment, and the reason I'm responding to it here or is because I saw it, I was like, oh, this is a lot. These are a lot of words, you know? Didn't want to type all those words back didn't even know where to start so I'm probably just gonna address it here and it's not like directly specifically like addressed to the person hey Chantel hello <laughs> while I agree a thousand percent that not always good intentions equal good results I like to see every case individually and analyze what was done to see if that bad result deserves criticism or not I agree I think that generally speaking not just like in situations like these that Circumstances can be individual. Circumstances can be different between each situation. So, you know, I think that, I think basically what this conversation is going to boil down to is that both points are valid, that my argument still stands and their argument still stands. I think that's what this whole thing is gonna boil down to. <laughs> but I agree, I think that you can't just have one set of rules and apply it to every single situation you come across. None of those explanations as to why dolls would be indefinitely away of the action fits the character at all. The only choice in this particular case was dying. And there's a lot of capital letters in here. And yes, it was rushed and a bit sloppy. I think that's a point. <laughs> uh -huh. And so I think in my original video, I had said that <sighs> on the night I watched 302, I saw a comment that I actually screenshotted because I liked it so much. I will put that up on the screen probably. And I saw that and I really liked that because I mean, that was the case for me. Like I understood that Shamir wanted to leave. I mean, I understand the circumstances. I understand what happened here. I mean, this person explained the circumstances. I understand the circumstances. Well, I think that right there sums it up. I mean, aside from the first thing I said earlier, I was like, I think it's gonna boil down to the fact that both of our arguments still stand. I think this is what it truly boils down to, at least for me. Like, I understand why what happened happened based on everything that happened. <laughs> and I do actually respect the hero's death as opposed to something foolish like a stray bullet. We all know who I'm referencing. <laughs> oh, actually, perhaps we don't because there are so many stray bullets. <laughs> the way they set it up and the way they wished it to be, that's the only option there was for the character, which is what this person was saying. That a lot of the audience would call bullshit, but also keep that same energy though. <laughs> keep that same energy though when a, another beloved character 
I had my own little personal disagreement with the writing choices, but I didn't even discuss that really. I just kind of said it as the character died, sucky that it happened. I, you know, brought up the tropes both in Bury Your Gaze and your people of color. Assuming that I understand that the way they set it up, the character had to die, which I do understand that. I understood that from the episode that it happened when I looked into, you know, in 302 and I was talking at the end there and I was like, oh, okay, this is what happened. This is why the character died. I understood that part of it. So assuming that I understand that part of it, the issue the the point is the fact that you know the character was never developed was the fact that it was rushed it was like a one episode thing we didn't i don't even remember i mean early in the season yes and i don't debate the fact that it was early in the season because the actor had to leave i'm um saying though that i don't even think we got any clues as to doll's medicine not working in 301 it was literally 302 boom the medicine's not working boom you are dead my friend like there was literally like a one of them and, and i think that is part of what besides everything else what made people so angry but yeah the point is i still stand with what i said i said what i said I meant what I said, and I mean we are entitled to our opinions, and my dog is <laughs> hello? My dog is having a nightmare? Yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm going to watch the episode now. Woo! Jesus, I feel like I'm forgetting something. F Amanda. Amanda, when asked to confirm whether or not Nicole or Dina would be slash Dina would be f her, f you. I cannot believe that I accidentally opened up a message about the bold type. Now I'm thinking about the bold type and I don't want to. <sighs> Why? All right, listen. You know, know more the bold type. Stop. We're, no, delete stop. We are done there. Thank you, friend. Mm, do I want to talk about the bold type? Because I've, I've, my feelings have been progressing and not in the greatest of ways. Maybe. Depends. If you want to hear what I have to say about that bougie myth. <laughs> I guess if you want to hear what I have to say, just say it. And then for 306, I'll say what I was going to say about the bull type just now. I feel like I missed something when I was talking about Waverly in the intro comments. I mean, I could always do a voiceover break. No biggie, I guess. I think we're gonna see Mama this episode. Yeah, yo. If I go wee wee, you know, I'm in a All right, I have to go to the bathroom. The f <laughs> This random tree. Tree. <laughs> 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 you spelled possess wrong, stupid. <laughs> Hello? What the f Come on, baby, don't embarrass me in front of Batman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that the guy that licked the potato? Why would you touch it, friend? Oh, that's metallic with blood. <laughs> Sports, do you? I'm not. Robin? Waverly. Oh, Hello. You got bags. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what up, Red? Oh, this is um. It's Sutton. Red. Red! Okay. <laughs> Officer Heat. <laughs> oh my god. Who is Robin? Oh, wait, is this. Uh, is this the gay one? Or the LGBT. The. LGBT cutie. He just threw it? That's it? When were you gonna tell me that you're the child survivor of a cult of vulture and massacre? Ah! Which sucks, Tom. Sorry. Ah! 
But congrats on the living. Can you both agree that you're sneaky, sneaky squirrels and try to have each other's backs for a change? We try. They try. They try. Uh, Part of me. That's my pistol. Uh, don't. <laughs> no, don't. Shit. We were having fun. Damn it. Timing. <laughs> Karma. It's only fair me walking on you for a change. <laughs> Probably nothing to interrupt here. Sure. 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 It's karma. Don't lie. <laughs> she walked into a roadhouse bar. You whipped off your shirt, and that was that. Like a beautiful fairy tale porno. See? Do not. It could happen. <laughs> it's called a unicorn because there's only one of them. Ah! Hey. Hi. Unicorn alert. Really him? You be one? Oh, no, no. No, I don't football. So, Robin, this is Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, hi. hi. Uh, is this Michelle Gibson's emergency contact? This is the last number we have on file. Wild shit. Are we serious here? Uh, right, right. I'm on my way. Oh, my God. Ah. I visit my mom in prison. To have pain. Oh, it's good because I'm completely stumped. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't really anyone else like me around. So. Uh, gay? Irish. <laughs> yeah, gay. Oh. <laughs> so as soon as I could, I headed out west. Cool. It's a, it's a date. <laughs> With the murder tree. I've had worse. <laughs> okay. No. No. <laughs> Stop. Physical danger at the prison, or is that not? The one available guy in town, he's probably a murderer. Are you? A murderer? Available. Who? Oh. And also, you know, not a murderer. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what is with all the sudden fog? Wow. I stay close. Whoop. I just know I feel it in a totally normal part of my body. Uh, in your groin. Those stairs. They're not for us. If you ever threaten her again, if you ever so much as touch a strand of that perfect luscious mane, I swear to God. Oh, no, no, I'm so sorry. For what you've done to Waverly, sorry is not going to cut it. Not for Waverly. For this. <gasps> she can't even use that gun. <laughs> ah, yeah. What? Damn. Thank you. Wow. Please, Mama. She's not giving me a choice. Baby, I'm so sorry that you got dragged into this. Lock her up. You mean lock, lock me? Her what up. the hell did I do? So you lock her up? Please. Instead of going She's after my mom? Real bad idea. Stop, I didn't want this. Why is there only one sheet of paper? It's been pulled. What? By whom? By whom? By me. I... By whom? By... You're a grown-up now. Who? You use proper grammar, so I guess you have the right to know. Proper grammar. I remembered what I was going to say about... Yeah. I remember what I was going to say about Waverly at the intro that I knew I forgot. I'll say it at the end. I'm suspicious of the cops, of all of them, who work at the Institute. Ah. You feel a little pain. Oh, thank God you're here. Brought your head guards, head. Two points. Better hurry, go one hell of a head start. Yeah, but I'm me. Okay. See, I knew that these little heads were suspicious. Okay, great. You let me know the time and place, and I will be rare me. If there's nachos, vegan nachos. Jobin. Nachos for sure. Uh, the whole thing for sure. It's, uh, I mean, obviously, if I'm planning it, then. 
Whoa, you okay? Yeah, uh, allergies. Don't. I guess Why? We'll just being out in the woods all day. You can say yes. I recognize that shirt. The girl wishes. Not her. Um, there's some in the. Box. I recognize her shirt. Oh. Yeah. Is the AU episode coming up next? Nicole's. No. The other voice of the person in the room with them. Who is that? The third person. Oh, for so hard. Tell me here that I'm from world. Mama? Yo, bitch. Wait. What is it? The demon. Waverly. Mama, please just calm down, okay? It's too late. Oh. Uh -huh. No, sweetheart. Is this not why? Is this the. No, it's probably not this episode. Why does he lick the potato? He likes to lick things. <laughs> that is so rude. The. Of course, it's a place to be. Yes. Where's Mama? Have you seen her? Oh, not to worry. We've got Mama locked in the barn until we can decide what else to do. With Zoe her. Palmer. Who are you? We. But Jolene showed up just in time. Jolene! The next Jolene. episode is called Jolene. Now be prepared to do a lot of squats because up. Mm -hmm. Brownies. It's not it. Back the truck up. That is. <laughs> More, please. There is a demon coming, and it's going to kill Waverly. Oh! But you know what? You're always here for us, Jolene. Oh. <laughs> what would we do without you? Oh, I bet you'd all just die. All just die. Zoe's being a little too creepy right now. Get it out my face. It's not an AU episode, but this is. I knew I recognized a fits. I knew I recognized. This is what I did. Get it out my face. Get it out my face. Oh, I'm so dramatic, but get it out my face. I am so glad that I am watching the next episode right now. Oh, I have to use the restroom though. In or out, dude. In or out, dude. In or out, dude. Come in. I really hope I'm wrong about the angel thing because I'm so. I think I'm wrong. Yes, I think I'm wrong. Damn it. What if I'm not wrong? I want to be wrong. Jolene. 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 <laughs> Obviously, I'm home alone. Frankly. I don't know, I'm shook. So in Winona, my dog. <laughs> so in Winona Earp 202, I spotted Zoe Palmer because she was in, she Lost Girl, but no, but she was on another show where she played an android type character. And I was like, I know her, she was on Lost Girl. <gasps> it's the woman that plays Lauren from Lost Girl. What's this girl's name? Whenever you go into deep sleep. And I looked up her name and now I remember it. Oh my God, I want the next episode now. Ha ha ha! I feel like Jolene um, is the demon that it, nah, that attacked that attacked um, them in the barn. But then that wouldn't make sense because she said that there is a demon coming to kill Waverly. She really threw that ring out there, like. That's where you throw the ring. I don't really have anything to say. I talked a lot at the beginning there. Um, that episode was directly like setting up for whatever is about to happen in this episode, which I am looking forward to. Oh, the thing that I forgot to say in my intro comments is like, part of me always wonders or considered the fact, or maybe partially hoped, I don't know which one it was, that Waverly would end up being, that it wouldn't make sense though, but wouldn't it suck if in order to break the curse, Winona would have to end up killing Waverly because she was part revenant or something. And I always think of that and then have her not be able, like that was the last one she had to kill and then have her seriously almost not be able to. Well, I mean, she did almost kill Waverly when Waverly had Mixion in her or whatever that goo goo's name was. She, she thought about it. She considered it for a second there. We met Robin this episode a bit quirky. Not unlike Jeremy, but they are quirky in different ways. It's a gay. I should have known that was the gay. Well, I mean, I picked up on it. So. 
but i suppose that's it for me for now thank you for watching like the video if you like did comment if you wanna be sure to share with anyone who you think might want to see this i'm gonna watch 305 right now you can check out my channel playlist or descriptions to see what other shows i watch what else i do subscribe if any of those things interest you shoot me an email if you're interested in owning any of my drawings at chantel is probably sorry at gmail.com hope you're having a wonderful existence and i guess that brings me to bye god damn it i should just let that phone dry up and disconnect I wasn't receiving calls for ah, weeks. Why should we call? Okay. She's about to call the house. If I don't call her back quick. So in love with you, 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 so in love. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Get that white crack out my screen. Dolls decides to go off outside the ghost sprinkle try. Jesus Christ. Oh, I was supposed to go turn off the dining room light. Let's take a break. Let's go turn off the light and let's come back. And I'm not wearing pants. Decides to go off outside the ghost Drago truck. I, I did it twice. Drag Herb's ass in here to meet with Drag. the city manager before the flimsy cover story I gave goes up. And... Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, dog. Stay here. Please don't eat my stuff. I'm so in love with you, so in love with you, so in love with you, so in love with you. Is that money in my pocket? I ain't got a pocket, got a pocket full of money. <laughs> Not funny. I just slobbed.